here we are in our first saltwater run. Headed south from the Mukilteo Ferry Dock. Dodging Ferry Wake, which is substantial. Boat's handling well. I'm not looking forward to going against the current coming back, but it is what it is. <laughs> Let me turn the camera around so you can see the scenery. Wow, look at that. You can see the Olympics really clearly. That's amazing. And so the goal for the day is to get the, get the fishing rod over the side, catch a flounder. So I'm gonna try for some of those. Let me get my line set up without trying to throw it overboard. Being since I haven't caught a flounder since I was a kid, I decided to go with some plastics that are red and green. We'll see if the fish bite on. Flounder kind of want to bite on anything that they can get a hold of. They're ambush fish. So we'll see if they ambush this. So I'm not using any weights on the lure itself. I'm just going to stick this on a hook down on the pyramid weight to pull me down and let this drift in the water. Hopefully it'll attract some attention. So that's our setup. Like that. Pyramid weight, little flippy floppy tail thing. I'm just gonna drop fish right here. Well, it looks nice and bright in the water. I like that. There's the ferry coming in. I think I just got a bite. Felt like a little nudge there. Check the hook. Nothing of consequence. Guess I should talk about how the boat's doing. So I've had it out a couple of times in uh, freshwater, the lake by my house, and it handles pretty well. I haven't really handled any significant wave action, although I did cross the, f the wake of the ferry coming this direction, and it's uh, pretty solid. It feels pretty good. It pedals well. The, the pedaling action, the swimming action is smooth. It's not super noisy. I don't know if you can hear it. That's pretty good. Still think I need to get this steering adjusted because it's, I think the cables are stretching out. The rudder is not as snappy as I want it to be. The power system I came up with to run the work lights, which I have on currently, I think you can see them in the GoPro. And those ones on the left are fully in the water. They're like in the water and they're still going. And that's good. I was worried that they'd burn out as soon as they got wet, but I bought the indoor outdoor ones thinking that they'd hold up in the moisture a little bit better. They probably won't last too long in the salt. They're not really made for what I'm doing with them, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Because I like doing things on the cheap. What else am I trying to think here? What else, what else? What do you wanna know about, about this boat? You can, you can put those in the comments if you got any questions. Everything seems to be functioning well. The, the, the Scotty tracks are solid. It holds my rod really well. I stood up in it on the fresh water in the lake and it was pretty stable. The first time I did it, I didn't know what to expect, so I felt a little squirrely, but the second time, it was good. It did pretty well. I feel like I could probably stand up and cast off of this. I don't know that I'd want to do it in a stiff wind. And being that I'm going to do most of my fishing in the salt water, because I prefer salt water fishing. Yeah, all in all, it's a smooth running boat. Doesn't get too wet unless you, you launch sloppy. And today's launch was a little rough because of the ferry wake. I remembered to bring everything I needed, except a pair of pliers, so if I actually do catch a fish, hopefully I can get the hook out of his mouth. It's a rather beautiful, calm day today. I'm surprised it was. It can be very, very rough out here, especially when there's a lot of boats out here. Wind and wake and ground swell. Could be, it can get really crazy. And I'll have to learn how to manage all of that. The water temperature is currently 44 degrees. I think, according to what I've heard, it stays that way. So against my better judgment, I came out here in jeans, <laughs> a t-shirt, and my jacket. But the water's pretty calm, so I feel good about being on the water. If it were any crazier, or if I decide I want to do it in the winter time, because there's winter crabbing that I'd like to do, I'm going to need to get a dry suit 
because uh, you don't want to fall in this water when the when the water temperature is 44 degrees and the air temperature is 40 degrees. It's a recipe for disaster. The boat, other than it is solid, it's way better than my old boat, my old 18-foot Chesapeake light craft that I used to have fish on. I think I got a fish on. I do have a fish on. Come on up here. He's fighting it. Who we got? It's a flounder. Look at that. I got one. My first fish in the boat. Wow. Just got him by the corner of his mouth. Got him good though. Fish number one. Look at that. It's probably a 10 inch. Looks like a sand dab. I'm going to commemorate that occasion by keeping him. See if I can get it in the cooler without falling out of the boat. Caught my first fish in the boat. A, I think they call it a sand dab. He's about 10 inches long. There's no limit to the size you can keep here. Being my first fish off of this boat, I decided to hang on to him. There's a limit of 15 per day, and you can catch them year-round. So hopefully I'll catch a couple more. We'll make some fish and chips. Yes, first fish. First fish in the kayak. I'm going to call that a win. Another bite, another nibble. I don't think I got any that time. Nope, nothing there. Back down we go. That's bottom. Crank up a little. Bonk that weight on the bottom and get their attention. And we'll see what happens. Got another one. Another fish on. <laughs> this one might be a little bit bigger than the last one. Come on up. Come on up. Feels about the same. Oh, he doesn't want to come up here. Yeah. Flip him. In the boat. Whoops. <laughs> Hit the camera with the fish. Yeah, so he's got a little little parasite thing on him. See, these marks are not good. There you go, fishy. There is not a boat on the water today. And that sunset's gonna be fantastic. All right, we're now in almost 80 feet of water. Let's see what we come up with. I'm actually kind of amazed at how calm it is out here today. It is one of the calmest days I've ever seen out here. The boat has performed flawlessly. Yeah, I have to say I'm really impressed. Super impressed. Glad I can officially say the stink is off the boat. Definitely gonna get some lights, navigation lights so that I can be seen not that the not that the uh, there's a lot of boat traffic out here right now but when crabbing season hits and salmon season hits there's a lot of boats out here so definitely want to wear some bright colors and and have some lights on such a glorious day oh I got something on again it's a little one little shaker oh I think you got off oh better check maybe there's one on there it's slightly heavier Yeah, there's a little tiny one. That right there, friends. That right there is lingcod bait. Those guys are candy for lingcod. This dude just barely got his eyeballs on one side of his head. Start out like a regular fish. This is a rock sole. This is actually what I was after. This is the one I really want. Anyway, these start out with the eyes. Whoa, don't, don't do that. These start out with the eyes on a boat like a normal fish and as they grow their eyes move around to the to the one side but anyway uh, go back it's not lingcod season yet all right we'll go back for the deeper water again we're back at our 80 foot of depth Let's see if we can't get one more before i pack it in because the sun's getting low in the sky all right here fishy fishy 90 feet of water I managed to find a deeper spot here we go just had another bite I don't know if that's uh I don't know if he's still on there or not just a little nibble probably if there's anything on there it's another one of those little teeny tiny ones I don't think so though no well I think that's it let's head back to the beach <laughs> I'm pretty happy with the result of today. I won't say that that was a counterproductive day. 
would have been nice to keep two, but hey, I got the stink off the boat. Well, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. Until next time, happy fishing.